It's now easy to create all kinds of print techniques using the new integration with Substance. Substance by Adobe is a suite of tools that's being wildly used by 3D artists to create hyper-realistic materials. This gives a fluid, creative decision-making process without requiring special knowledge of graphic design and 3D map creations. We pre-assign this nice mountain graphic with the Browseware logo. Let's select the logo. By default, the artwork execution is set to custom, but we can choose from the presets from the drop-down list. The artwork presets are ready to use without the need of adding or editing any map. If you're looking to import your own artwork preset, starting from our upcoming hotfix, you'll be able to find the link at the bottom of the dropdown to Substance Source. From there, you will be able to import artwork file to vStitcher. Let's put the preset into use and change the logo part of the artwork to use emboss. Each preset has its own parameters that we can adjust to achieve the look we want. This is the perfect way to explain to our supplier what kind of print effect we want to achieve. The emboss is not quite what we're looking for. Let's try another artwork execution. Glitter, for example. It's so easy to toggle between the options. Let's also try the foil look. Amazing! Finally, let's change it to high density. Nice! I like it! We'll go over to the mountain artwork. We change the artwork execution to vintage effect. We reduce the scratch amount a little. Let's try another color. Ah, love that combination. You can now add any substance material, SBSAR, to vStitcher or Loda. Whether created in Substance Designer, modified in Substance Alchemist, or downloaded from Substance Source or another platform to use within Browseware software. Let's group the artwork together. If we want to add a comment on the artwork execution to our supplier, we can do this in the information part. The artwork execution name is exported in the tech pack as shown. Our tech pack can be exported as HTML or as an Excel spreadsheet which makes it very easy to edit. This integration also enables the import of substance materials into vStitcher or Loda, the same as is done with U3M files. Let me show you how we can download a substance archive file, which is called SBSAR from Substance Source. The SBSAR file supports all browser material types and automatically generates its PBR maps. Let's import a file now. This is a nice fabric. Let's just change its color back to orange. We'll replace the rib fabric with rib from substance for an even more true to life look. Amazing. Our outfit is ready.